Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 276 coming to you in February, which is a week later than we're supposed to. So we're going to talk about why this meeting is one week late and all that has implications on it. Um, if you're here, go ahead and say hi. We have uh, a number of our regulars, which is great. Uh, we always appreciate their input as we're trying to triage things and stuff like that. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. And when I get to the next slide, we're all going to see what the delay is about. So, uh, Bob, you ready to go talk about what we've been dealing with? I wish I had a drum roll. If I prepared a drum roll. Oh, yeah. I knew that button and things like that. Right. Uh. All right. Here we go. Uh, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about security fix coming out. Uh, that came was announced a week a little bit over a week ago uh then we we're going to talk about the new wix 5 release plan because said security release uh made a mess of the race plan and then we'll do our usual issues triage and then we'll talk questions comments things like that so uh we're going to talk mostly about the security thing uh right now and then we'll go over the wix 5 plan and then if we have time i think we will we'll go through uh the issue triage. So, uh, I know you're all sitting here going, wait, I was completely unprepared for security uh, fix. And it's like, yeah, me too. Yeah, join the club. Join the club. This is not what we thought we were going to be doing. So, let's talk about what we have here. Uh, this is CVE number. It's br brand new minted. It is not public yet. It will be public very, very shortly. Uh, what is it? It's a Windows DLL redirect vulnerability. Uh, this is nonsense. This makes absolutely no sense that this is a, an attack vector. Um, it's a Windows attack vector, to be clear. The problem is that you can use it to attack burn. Uh, it's very similar to a DLL injection attack that we've dealt with in the past. Unfortunately, those protections that we put in place that are very good and very awesome um, had another way through because of this Windows thing that bypassed. All versions of Wix that have burn are affected, all of them. So we are gonna have to update all of them. Um, and we do have an MSRC out with Microsoft. Um, I'm not going into deep details about the DLL redirect vulnerability because MSRC is still reviewing it. Uh, but the problem is that this thing was, believe it or not, reported publicly um, on one of our issues trackers incorrectly. It would have been better if they reported it privately. They eventually reported privately. We've been working on it in there. So because it was public, we decided we should get it out. So we got it out to uh, Fire Giant customers last week. We let them know they've been kind of kicking the tires of it, all that kind of stuff. Um, and after MSRC uh, reviews it and decides whether they're actually going to fix the root issue in Windows, uh, we will at least have a, a workaround in Burn to uh, avoid uh, the problem that is DLL redirecting as opposed to DLL injection. And after MSRC comes out with it, um, I'll probably go into detail about how it worked and all that kind of stuff. Because I know you guys, especially those of you in chat, are always interested in those kinds of things. It's it's interesting, but the whole story is really sad. So the CV is coming out. What are we doing? We're doing releases today. Uh, we have it all queued up. We have the fixes ready to go. We are going to be pushing to the repositories and the builds will be happening after this meeting. Um, thought about doing during the build meeting, but if anything hiccuped, I didn't want to be distracted by them. Uh, so there will be a Wix 404. That comes right after 403. That does not mean not found. That is Wix 404. Uh, we also have a bug fix in 404 that we were already planning to do a 404 because this bug fix that was found by a fire giant customer. We were already planning to do that. And then the CVE hit us, so we put them together, delayed 404 a little bit uh, to get the CVE fix in it. Uh, the Wix 3 fix were put in 314. I went back and forth a number of different times about where to put this fix, but we know there are some people out there that have started moving the 314 as a dev build. Uh, 311 2, which I think is the last Wix build, is like from ancient, a long time ago. So we just figured probably the best thing to do was to just do the fix in a 314 and push it out there. We've not done extensive testing on all the other 314 stuff, but the security fix is important. So we will have a Wix 314 uh, build going out that will then supersede all of the other Wix 3 builds uh, because it will be the secure one. So Wix 4, update to 404. It will be very easy. Update your um, MS build file with the version number on it or do .NET tool update Wix and boom, you're done. 
or if you're on Windows 3, then you need to update to uh, 3.14 to get this fix in Burn. You do need to move to Wix 3.14, and it should be out by the end of the day. Unless things go horribly wrong, you know, and it spills into tomorrow, then we will be done by the end of the day. You will see a blog post on uh, firegiant.com where we will uh, announce this these releases. It will also update their lease notes and Wix. So for anybody that's not on this meeting or doesn't follow these meetings or you know doesn't think, oh, I'm gonna go sit through the 39, 49 minutes where they talk about Wix stuff, uh, it will be posted to all those places. But those of you on the video right now are finding about this here right now um, after Fire Giant customers have it. So that is the fixes for today. At the same time, and given the amount of pain that we went through with a Wix 3, which has a build architecture from probably 18 years ago. I mean, the first release, it was 15 years ago and we worked on it for quite a while before that. Um, we're, we're done with Wix 3. We had not officially put a stake in the ground and said Wix 3 is done, done, done. And we felt like, you know what? We're gonna give you a bit more time. So we're not doing fixes in three, but we haven't come out and said, here's what we're doing for security around three. It's been kind of floating around as we've been waiting for Wix 4 to kind of tip over and be Wix 4 has been out there long enough. And uh, we can finally say, hey, you know, you really need to move to Wix 4 because three is really ancient. And it is, it's very ancient. Um, well, we got hit with security fix while we were waiting for all that to happen, which is kind of the worst case for everything. It disrupts everything we do, creates tons more work. So in a year from now, and we're gonna be very clear about this as we communicate this again in the blog and the release notes of stuff. A year from now, uh, yeah, we're not touching three again, right? Uh, for anything out in the in the public, right? Customers at Fire Giant have a support contract. Their support contract has details about how you do fixes for three and all that kind of stuff. So uh, for Fire Giant customers, for those of you that watch this video, I know there's a couple that watch this video, later. Um, you're covered as part of your support contract, all that. But for everybody else, for everybody that's just grabbing Wix and using it, uh, there's no guarantees. And this is actually going to become much more of a stronger mantra. Too many people are showing up with these expectations that, hey, I'm just downloading this thing and now you're going to fix bugs for me on my time frame. So that's not what we're doing. And we haven't been real crystal clear about that in Wix 3. Uh, over time, it's just kind of out there forever. So we're getting more clear. There's no guarantees. You pick up Wix, yeah, it's open source. You know, you have all the source code, you can fix the bug too. Uh, no guarantees for any of that. So, and if there is another security fix here before the next year, because we're very nice people and we feel a little guilty about just saying, hey, you need to move to four now, we're gonna give it a year. And then after that, if you're not a customer, you're on your own, you can go fix it yourself. So I wanna be very clear about that. We are basically finishing Wix 3 and not touching it anymore in the consumer space, okay? So I wanna be very clear about that. You get a year, if you're on Wix 3, you should be making a plan. Go talk to Fire Giant, get a contract to say, hey, we need to stay on three for longer for whatever reason. We have some people that have reason or reason for that. Go talk to our Fire Giant about support contract or go, oh, we need to move to Wix 4, Wix 5, honestly, Wix 5 is coming soon, which is what we'll talk about next. You need to go figure out those plans. Um, the door is closing on V3 and it's it's way late. We should have done this a long time ago, but here we are. And um, yeah, so this has been an expensive thing for us, but we're taking care of it. We'll handle it for another year and then we are very much done with this. So CV 2024, 24, 8, 10 is the one that has kind of, brought this to the forefront and put a stake in it. Like I said, we're gonna make this clear in the blog post and everything that goes out to people. You need to make a plan. All right, so given that, let's talk about the impact of all of this to Wix 5, because it blew up Wix 5 while we spent all the time running around doing this. Uh, we thought about it for a while, and honestly, I've been thinking about this for a bit about, you know, I've mentioned every meeting, how many RCs do we really need for Wix 5, given the set of changes that we're making and the fact that our adoption last year was basically people picked up RC1, a few people picked our, a number of people picked up RC1, a few people picked up RC2, not much on RC3, RC4, trickle out. So 
given that we just got bumped, we kind of said, you know what, let's just dump RC3, go RC1, RC2, and then uh, continue to go out. Uh, I think this will be fine. I've kind of thought it would be fine to only have two RCs, but we said we would do three before, um, given everything getting knocked around uh, here, then um, I think we're still going to be okay f moving RC3, but you know when we get into RC1 uh, and then into March, we may end up come up in a meeting and be like, yeah, no, we need to move the final slip slip the final date for v5 i don't think that'll happen but you know what we're not really hard on these dates right now there's not anything in five that's like really really pressing um us from the outside we just do need to get it done move on so this is the current plan we'll go with two rcs for wix5 which honestly i don't know we're going to get much more adoption than that given wix4's behavior or adoption before and so that's the plan for wix5 if you have questions, you guys in chat, you have lots of things, start thinking about them, maybe start typing them in chat. So when we get the questions and comments, we can cover them. Um, that's kind of where I'll pause and we'll absorb anything uh, while we're throwing all this data at you. Uh, but this is kind of the plan right now. I, I think everything's going to be fine. I would like the week and a half back uh, that we've lost on all of these things, but uh, several of us have lost on all this stuff, but uh, this is reality of shipping software and we are staying on top of it. So um, on that front and given this, Bob, triage, let's go through our triage real quick while everybody kind of sits and digests. What was it? See if they have any questions, comments after triage. Sounds good. All right, here we go. Into triage. All right. Number one, starting at the top, uh, Wix 5RC1 documentation. Yep, Bob opened this. I'm guessing Bob's going to take it. He hasn't assigned it to himself already, though. Hmm, interesting. All right, release notes and Wix 5 for V4 users topics. Yeah, we'll have to do this, right? Because we have a couple interesting breaking changes. Yes, we do. All right. So. Wow. Everyone's volunteering so loudly. It, 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 Look, I, there's a set of things for burn. I will add the parts of burn for the V5 and V4 use. I will definitely add the parts of V4. For yeah. V5, V4 for burn. Yeah. Um, things like that. Uh, I'll get to Jacob's question in a minute. Um, all right. 7967, IO exception when building for file share. Um, make SFX, trying to save, throws. Oh, over a network share. Oh, Wow, we still do that? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, people still built over network shares. But okay. Yeah, so all your things in there. Wow. Um Yeah, I asked for clarification. It is just an SFXCA. It's not a general problem building packages or bundles oh, over a share. Yeah, all right. So maybe SFXCA needs to be more robust when building and saving. Yeah. yeah, this has saved resources. Yeah, we've had that in burn too. This can sometimes get fiddly. So right. yeah, probably a retry. All right, cool. They can go up for grabs. Someone can pick that up if they want. Um, seven nine six nine. They say that yeah, that there is a splash screen. Run the base install, and then do a upgrade. And then they say that during the uninstall of the other step, the a splash screen shows up. Um, that would be a bummer. Yeah, so we'll have to go dig in that and see if that actually works that way. Um, see if that really happens. So I think that goes up for grabs. Okay. Because unless you want it, I'm kind of going through it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I have uh, enough I things right code, now that I'm doing. It, it should be, ah, the right. flash screen should not be shown. Um, All right. Well, then someone but, needs to dig into it and figure out what, why. Yeah, the, yeah. It's not, it should be, but it's not obvious that it's not. So, yeah, all right, fine. 7973, unable to install Wix 3 Visual Studio 2015 extension on Visual Studio Compiler. Uh, okay. I'm, I meant to pre-close this. Um, I, oh. will, I will add a comment. It, it's the person oh. who's using the wrong version of V6 installer. Oh, is there any reason why some, oh, this one. Yeah, why this is Sully stopped working for the past year, stopped working. I don't know. We didn't change anything. Why are you bringing up this list? We've had this a lot of people showing up in Wix and being like, you guys didn't do anything, but it's not working anymore. And we're like, okay, go talk to someone that where it might've changed. In this case, go talk to Visual Studio. 
than what they might have changed because we didn't change anything. So anyway, I don't know why people show up and think we're the ones that are going to, because we have the open issue tracker. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be easier. some V6 installer. You said they're using the wrong V6 installer. So yeah, that'll, that will do it. All right. 7981, figure out overridable. This is a Wix 5 thing where we have overridable and virtual have kind of merged concepts and make it more um, open. Yeah. We should do something here. I, I, my my I, opening an issue. Yeah, I, I'm I'm leaning right now toward toward you know we should we should prefer using virtual symbols. One hundred percent in our in our extensions. Absolutely. Um, I don't really want to deprecate overridable. Yeah, I don't uh, even know how many people use it. It's it's a it's a lot. It's a platform built. I mean, it depends if you're building platform things. That's where you use it, right? It's, well, I think more people consume overridability is that a way to put it that, because we mark yep. all the extension custom i think all of them as overridable so that people can reschedule them yep um you know truthfully i'd also like to look at a better way of accomplishing that um but i think you know if if we use virtual access modifiers then you know people can people already copy and paste to right. reschedule so if if yeah and uh, the error message is better because it says something about hey you have two things virtual one of them needs to be over yeah that was yeah. the other the other thing i did yeah as and then open this issue going okay well i've done what i can on the error message side yeah so so i would love to do this but i'm it's i have too many other things i have to finish yeah myself um, i will take it for Five, not necessarily RC1, um, but I will certainly try to get yeah, okay. virtual symbols in. Yeah. It, it, it should be fairly mechanical. Yeah. All right. 7983. Wix set calling session get product property throws. Okay. Is that MSI get product property? Is I think. Yeah, this takes an age product, not get a product session. Property? Is this a mistake that it's on session? From a custom action. Yeah, from a custom, because like, that's not the way that works. I wonder if that's just a bug that it shouldn't be there. All right, someone could look into it <laughs> and go figure out, should that actually be there on DTF? But then go up for grabs if someone wants to go dig into, should this thing be here? Because it yep. doesn't look like, because H product means you have to do like MSI open product, which is definitely not what you do inside a custom not, action. Not, yeah, you don't get that from a session. Which is why it's strange that session is hanging off of it. So Right. right? That's really strange. That almost just seems like a bug in DTF. Should not be there. Like this just should not be there. A very old bug. It'd be that. very old bug too, because it should be there from you. Unless that like supposed to be property and it got I don't know. I don't know. It's like it's supposed to be get property and not get product property. I don't know. I have to go dig someone have to go dig into it. Yeah. Right now, uh probably don't do that and use the get property one instead. That does work. Um so anyway, yeah, we'll probably all right. Cool. So nothing terribly exciting in issues, uh, mostly, you know, things that we knew about or, yeah, little edge cases. Splash screen is probably the thing that is like, ugh, if I had more time, I'd be like, oh, that doesn't sound right, but I'm probably not going to get there in the amount of time that I have left. So we'll see it in the future. All right. So going back now to questions and comments and... Jacob's already uh, queued one up. Is Ticket to CV isn't published yet. Yeah, it is not yet published. We're, we're, it's kind of the, what's the order of operations of doing things? Um, GitHub does have a very nice security uh, workflow that they've put into their system. So that's really nice. And then the ability to keep it um, secure and quiet while we work on the fix so that we can publish it. So when we publish it, we're supposed to publish, well, there's a box to say, here's where it's fixed. And we want to have the things the release is public so that when the CV is published and it says where it's fixed, we will have the things that you can go get as opposed to publish a CVE, say it's going to be fixed in these builds and then the build's not there if you were to go look right away. So it's it's all an order of operations. I have a very long uh, checklist of things to do to make sure everything gets done properly and marked off and so on and so forth. And we have to go get blog entries written and data update and all that kind of stuff that we've been queuing up behind the scenes that we now go push some buttons and wait for build machines to go crank out now that the 
it is public. But the CVE will be out as I I don't I really don't know how fast GitHub publishes them. They have the way of giving you one, and then when you push another button in the UI, they will publish it. I don't know how far it goes, but it will be out there. Um, and we've let Windows know that CVE so that they can cross reference it with their um, systems. So CV will be out before the end of the day when all the other builds are out and everything like that. It's all part of the documentation process. Um, in fact, you guys saw the number here first in the slide deck, but it will be out there soon. All right, there's that. Um, other questions? I'll pause here for a second um, and kind of recap. So gonna be very busy today doing a whole release, um, including a release of Wix 3, which of course is old and there's a lot to go dig up and make happen um, there. Um, should we be seeing commits on Wix 3 repo for this or not yet? Yeah, not yet. You will see them like after this meeting is done, you will start seeing the, the commits. Oh, because we did not push the commits before announcing that we were going to. Basically the order operation is uh, figure out what the problem was. That was like a week and some ago. Uh, figure out how we're going to address the problem. Uh, we developed a fix, tested ourselves. We rolled out the fire giant customers so they could verify it. And since we have you know communication with them, we can do that without having to get it released publicly to get some verification on it. And then we go to the community and we announce it here. And then we publish the code that kicks the builds and we get the blog posts updated when we have all of the bits in the places to point the blog posts and all documentation at those places, what are all the URLs that they end up being at. We have a lot of that pre-typed. Some of it just has to fill in the blanks as those things get uploaded. And we push also the new button that we don't normally have, which is the CVE public button with the links to those releases or whatever. So you're gonna see all of that churn happening during this process today that we could not do before today because it would have been all these things people are like wait what's this waste three what's this you know, it was just kicked off all these processes before we were having ready to have it all announced in that order so that's kind of the order of things and uh it will be out um like i said if it's not out the end of today it's just because we hit some build hiccup or something silly like that that we're sorting out and will be out tomorrow um but it should be out today knock on wood and all that kind of good stuff All right, uh, so I'm actually out. So I'm actually out a good portion of next week. So I think I'm, I'm talking. You guys have other questions, feel free to type them in now. I'm gonna start filling the blanks. So I think we should just come back on the 27th and do the meeting and the, the Wix 5 RC1 release and get all that done then. Um, I don't think doing a meeting on the 20th is gonna work out. Uh, terribly well for me um, and so that would put us back on track of where we would be right so we missed one week we'll get back on the every other Tuesday of our original schedule does that sound reasonable Bob so that would meaning would be yeah. one two yeah. three from this week instead of two um, yeah well that's when we want to release our yeah one, so, yeah yeah uh so the, the incoming rate has been pretty low yeah well <laughs> yeah yeah this point's probably going to rc2 if we're taking anything into five like oh, oh we have to fix that but i don't think so i think most of the stuff at this point is going to be um uh stuff we find in wix5 rc1 be like oh yeah we need to fix that because so i'm prepared for those kind of things that's why we do the rcs get people on it all right um so yeah so our goal if it's not clear is to put the Wix 3 and Wix 4 build today behind us today, wrap it all up, be done with it. Hopefully that all goes smoothly so that we can then get our focus back on the RC1 at the end of this month um, and get things back on track um, as much as we can. That's the goal. And let's see other questions. Hopefully the data is all there. Um, this meeting will be posted later in the day when it gets all done with YouTube and processing and all that kind of good stuff. So if you want to go back and rewatch it, you can do that. Um, and I think that's about it. So if we get out of here, it's 10 o'clock my time. So why don't we uh, break and uh, you'll start seeing the changes happening in the repositories and the bills start kicking off, you know, like right away.
right? I feel this is like the football huddle. We all go, ready, break, kind of. Sports ball? No? No. Hey, Cheeseless, welcome for joining us today. Uh, you joined at a very exciting meeting. I feel like the rest of chat's just sitting here going, wait, a security fix? Oh, how am I going to update everything? Like, yeah, we know. Very exciting. Lots of work for many people involved. So, um, that's it. We'll be back in three weeks, we've said. So we'll do this, 9.30. We'll be talking about RC1. Hopefully that build is happening or we'll kick off right after the meeting, very similar to this and have all the processes done. Um, so yeah, February is turning out to be a lot more exciting for Wix releases than it was supposed to be, unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So all of you have a wonderful few weeks. I'll be out a little bit next week and we will be back hopefully with RC1 at the end of the month on the 27th for the next Wix meeting. Keep your eye out for all the information coming. We will have builds and builds and builds of things with a CVE fix shortly. So three weeks from now, we'll see you guys all later. Bye. Bye.